Well, the UN has only had 28 high-level meetings since the end of World War II, and only one of those has ever dealt with the health issue until now. And now they're calling a high-level meeting, which means every head of state is invited and expected to be there, and it is to declare that there is a serious issue affecting every member country of the UN, namely growing amounts of preventable NCDs or non-communicable diseases. We think people need to take action about NCDs because we know there's something we can do about it, and aging is a global phenomenon, so the whole world is getting older, and if we don't intervene, we're going to see an awful lot of unnecessary suffering and premature deaths due to NCDs. Well, this high-level meeting is very significant because it'll bring all the countries of the world together to realize that they have to build awareness and put NCDs on the health agenda in each of their countries. If we take action, we can stem the tide of this growing epidemic that could become a tsunami if we don't intervene. So this truly is a major public health problem facing all regions of the world. Well, the American Cancer Society is committed to doing what it can as a civil society organization, an NGO, to stemming the tide of non-communicable diseases, and of course, especially cancer. Cancer has become potentially the most preventable and the most curable of the major NCDs in the world, and the American Cancer Society wants to intervene to change that potentiality into a reality for all people around the world. Well, I was asked by Secretary Sebelius to be a part of the official U.S. delegation to the high-level meeting at the United Nations, so I'll be one of uh, a couple of dozen delegates who will be there and be able to have input and help shape the outcome of that very special high-level meeting. It's a great honor and a privilege, but it's so important because I'll be there not just as John Seffrin, but representing the American Cancer Society, so we are very confident we can get cancer on the agenda, which needs to happen if we're going to create a world with less cancer and more birthdays.